four. Um, in our two terms, we have a 10 and a two. We're gonna look for a number that divides both a 10 and a two. That's what a factor is. It's just a number that divides it evenly. So as you look at the number 10 and you look at the number two, what number can be divided into both of those two numbers? Who's got it for me? What number divides into both 10 and two? I'm seeing some sign language out there. Good, two, we can divide a two. So we can take, divide both these terms by two. The next thing you look at is your variables. And you're gonna look at what is the most variables that they have in common. Because again, we're looking for that greatest common factor. My first term has an x to the fifth. My second term just has an x. So the most they have in common is an x. So they both can be divided by an x. Now the greatest common factor, as I rewrite this, the greatest common factor is gonna go out in front of my set of parentheses that I'm gonna form there, there it is. Then I'm gonna take each term, divide it by two x. Now 10 divided by two gives me a five. X to the fifth divided by x is gonna give me an x to the fourth. So that's gonna be a x um, down in the denominator, when I divide by that x, that x to the fifth it goes down by one, becomes x to the fourth. And then if I divide 2x by 2x, that's just going to be a, a one. So I get 2x times 5x to the fourth minus one. Now that is going to be my answer in the, the uh, greatest or common factor coming out there. That's going to be my answer in factored form. So I'm going to write my answer 2x, and then I hit 5x. Uh, shift 6 is going to be my exponent. Use arrow over to get out of there. Hit minus 1. Close off our parentheses, and then we hit submit. And then even when you submit, even if you get it incorrect, it will uh, go through and just kind of give you some steps on how to complete it. And then don't forget, you also have that help video to kind of help you out there. So first we're looking at factoring the greatest common factors out. Next section, we're factoring trinomials. So this goes into um, trinomials are going to factor into two binomials. And looking at my trinomial, I've got an A term of 1, which means that I'm going to multiply to this X right here. And I need to have two numbers that are going to add to that 18. So to multiply to 80, it's going to be um, two numbers. And then they need to add to 18. Well, that's going to be 10 and 8. So this would be X plus 8. And this is going to be X plus 10. Because the two numbers have to multiply to 80, and then they need to add to 18. And again, I'll sub or I'll uh, put that in. So I'll have uh, x plus 8, x plus 10, and that'll be my two factors. And they're going to go through some different ways of steps that you can do that. Um, they'll. This is kind of the way I did it right here. So it'll kind of walk you through. Um, how to do that particular problem. And again, you have your help video there to help you out as well. And lastly, a difference of squares. So a difference of squares is where both um, numbers are, are uh, perfect squares. That means you can square root, they're square rootable. And they're also um, a subtraction. So they're a difference of two square rootables. So we're gonna take, we can square root the first term, square root the second term. Square root of the first term is gonna be x, square root of 25 is gonna be five. And they're always going to fall into the same format. They're going to be x plus 5 and x minus 5. So it's going to be x plus, x minus, whatever your number is that you're square rooting there. Now we've got our factored form, x plus 5. And if I put x minus 5 first, that's okay too, x plus 5. Oh. And close off my parentheses. So there would be my result and you'll also then see the little breakdown of how they they solved it out so difference of squares uh, you're you're looking to make sure your numbers are perfect squares and then also you're making sure that it's a subtraction that difference of squares there so there's an example from each of those those problems i just recorded that session too so i will be uh, posting that to our class page you can always go back and 